everyone. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a couple of products and tips and tricks that I use in order to keep my house smelling good. And I don't know how relevant this video is gonna to be to a lot of you or if a lot of you are gonna be interested in this, but personally, I think this is very important, especially because of the fact that I have a very open layout house so i have to be very on top of the things that i do in order to prevent my house from smelling like food whenever i cook in my kitchen because just my house is very open so i think these tips are very helpful hopefully you guys find them useful so yeah if you guys are interested just keep watching so first i'm going to start with the pretty obvious things just things that you can literally introduce into your space and make it smell good instantly so the first one i've mentioned a million times already on my channel ever since i got it because i am obsessed it is my diffuser by vitruvi and after learning a little bit more about this company i learned that vitruvi actually derived from the name vitruvius which was a roman architect who actually developed the first principles of design, which was durability, utility, and beauty. And they pretty much stuck to those principles when they created this diffuser, and you can definitely tell. I have it right in the entrance of my house on my little bench. It is handcrafted, so it just looks like a work of art wherever you put it, you know? And even though it is very modern and unique looking, it is very inviting because of the way that they've integrated this little light which is like the perfect shade of soft white it's not a cool toned white it's not a very like in your face or bright white it's just the perfect tone of white but this video is about how to make your space smell good so aside from making your space look good it also does an amazing job at making your space smell good and i've had diffusers in the past and i don't know if it was the essential oils that i was using or the technology that the diffuser had but it was nowhere near as effective as this diffuser is at making my space smell good and i think they have like a total of 15 different oils so you guys are bound to find something that you like i really like cedarwood eucalyptus and right now i'm diffusing quiet which is currently my favorite it's very very strong when you smell it but once it diffuses it just smells perfect and very like cozy and i believe it's eight out of the 15 of their essential oils are certified organic so that is always a plus as well but yes diffusers i cannot recommend them enough so the next one is not going to be anywhere near as potent as the first diffuser is but it is pretty effective in making very small spaces smell good so i like to put one of these in like three areas of my house so i have one in my room i have one the moment you walk in my door in that outlet and then I have another one in the corner of my living room. So it is just a wallflower and I'm sure you guys have seen these everywhere. They have them at the drugstore, they have them at the grocery store, they have them at Home Depot everywhere. They're very inexpensive and they have a bunch of different little oils that you can diffuse and I mean, it can smell a little cheap if you don't pick the right oil. I forget what the name of this oil is, but I'll link everything that I use down below, the exact name and everything. Um, I actually have to refill this one because it's completely burned out. But these are very good at helping like i said small spaces smell good so it does help your house smell very good but just purchasing one of these i don't think is enough unless you're purchasing it for like your bathroom or something or very closed space moving into my other obvious thing to make any space in your house instantly smell good it is candles i'm a very very big fan of them you know not only to burn them but because I like the way that they look sometimes, I just decorate with candles. So the first one, if you guys have been subscribed for a while, you would know that I love this company. This is PF Candle Co. And this one in particular is Pignon, but I love all of their candles. Like I have yet to come across a candle from them that I do not like. They can do no wrong in their scent selection. They're so, so, so good. They are perfectly potent. Like they're not this overbearing smell. Sometimes that's a good thing because they reach longer distances when they're very, very strong like that. But other times if you're more sensitive 
they can give you a headache. And normally I have one candle for each room, so I don't really need my candle to be like extremely, extremely potent. They also have room sprays, which I like to spray on my sofa and on my sheets. And I think they also have a little diffuser, the one that you put the sticks in as well, which I've tried and they're all very good. But I just really love the way that the candles look. It's such a simple candle and it's an amber bottle and if you guys know me, you know how I feel about anything, any kind of amber glass. And then the next candle is by Henry Bendel, and it is in the scent sweet, like a sweet in a hotel room, not sweet like cookies. I don't like anything that's too sugary or sweet or anything that smells like a cupcake. It'll give me a headache. So I think that the name is perfect because it smells exactly like that. Like it, it smells like something that you would smell when you walk into a very expensive hotel or into a room that you've paid way too much money for, for the night. Now we're moving into the important stuff. If you don't really know how to properly eliminate odors in the first place, it's gonna be very, very hard for you to make your house smell good. You can mask an odor all you want. You can put a candle in your house right after you finish cooking fried fish or something, or steak, <laughs> and uh, you, you can light 15 candles all you want but that smell is gonna linger and it's not gonna go anywhere. So you need to use cleaning products that are going to eliminate the odor. I sound like a commercial, I know, but it is very, very important that you clean with things that eliminate odors. This is what I clean with. If you guys have seen my vlog, I, I did like a little cleaning time lapse one day, I forget which vlog it was, but this is my holy grail cleaning product. This is Pine Soul. I also use Lestoil. They're kind of the same thing. They have the same ingredients. And this is a multi-surface cleaner and deodorizer, and it kills 99.9% .9 of germs, okay? I know that this is a video about scents, but very quickly, this keeps bugs out of my house like nothing else. Like. Any bug that comes into my house dies within moments of stepping on my floor. And I'm pretty sure it's because of something in here. It has to be like, I don't know, this has like petroleum, I think. I don't know what it has, but bugs hate this stuff. So I like to clean my house. Well, I clean my house every week, but I mop every other week. And it's because I have a dog. A lot of people do that like once a month, but I, I no, I, like if I wait, for an entire month to clean my house. I'll be up to here with Dexter's hair and dust and I just, I can't. So I have to clean my house very, very often. So if I do not mop my floors that week, I will get this with a little rag. I have a rag in my kitchen that I use to clean like the surfaces of my house and stuff. And I just drench it with water and I put a little bit of this and then I just take a little bit of the water out and I clean the surfaces of my house with this. And obviously it's not as effective as mopping your floors with this. I use like a fourth of water in a bucket and then I put a little bit of this. You know, it does not have to be a lot. This stuff does foam up. So you don't wanna put a lot of this, but this stuff eliminates odors like nothing else. Like sometimes, for example, I'll throw some food that's gone bad down my garbage dispenser or some beans that have gone bad or just anything that obviously is not gonna smell good. And it makes a very strong smell. So before I let that smell go anywhere, I put a little bit of this in my sink and it just instantly deodorizes everything and it makes everything smell like this, which is one of my favorite scents ever. I love, love, love the way that this smells. It reminds me of when my mom would clean, like my mom is the one that got me into this, I'm not even kidding. I lived in a house growing up that if you couldn't see your reflection on the floor, it was not clean enough. And she's the one who taught me how to clean. And she taught me about all of these products. And now that I own a house, I know that they are very, very, very effective, especially a house as you know open as mine. I don't have division so my kitchen you know i have to be very careful about cooking there and how long i cook and how i cook because it can make my house smell so 
definitely recommend cleaning with this. Obviously, it doesn't have to be this brand, just anything that says deodorizer. This just happens to be the one that I swear by, and Lestoil is also really, really good as well. My mom actually prefers Lestoil, so you guys should listen to her because she's the expert, but this one is more readily available, so I just get this one. Again, I'm gonna sound like a commercial, but more products that eliminate the odor. Yes. You hear it in those commercials over and over and over again, but it's for a reason. Those are the things that work. You know, you need things that are going to cancel out the odor. You need to get to the root of the problem. You cannot just mask things. That is not, no, 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 okay? I spray this, it's like underneath my AC, it picks up. I don't know if you guys know this, but the bottom of your air conditioning kind of like picks up air and then takes it out to the rest of your house through all of the air vents in your house. So I spray this underneath my air conditioning and it goes throughout my entire house. Obviously you can go around your entire house and spray it does the same thing. It's probably better, but it doesn't really matter. So this is the one that I like. This is the Lysol disinfectant spray in the lavender scent. They have a bunch of scents. All of them are good. I also really, really recommend spraying this in your garbage can, whether it's a new bag or even if the garbage can is full, just put it in there and it really helps just contain all of the odor in there. Okay, so those are all of the products that I'm gonna mention. Those are all of the products kind of like worth mentioning, but I'm gonna get into some other tips. This one is probably really obvious, but if you guys have a vent fan or an exhaust, whatever you wanna call it, the ones that they have in bathrooms or in your kitchen, wherever you have one, utilize it. Don't just have it there because it looks pretty. I know that it adds such a cool touch, like if you have the hoods on top of your kitchen and stuff, yeah, sure, it looks really cool, but I made an emphasis, like I actually added the vent hood to my kitchen and didn't have it before because since I have such an open house, I needed one that would suck everything right out of my house or as good as it could because I just didn't want to deal with having my whole house smell like whatever I'm cooking. So investing, if you are in the process of doing your house or if you're looking to buy a house or if you already have one that you don't use, I definitely recommend that you use your vent hoods or your vent fans or exhausts, whatever you want to call it, okay? Turn it on while you're cooking. I don't care how loud it is turn it on, utilize it. You may not think that it's doing anything, but it really, really is. If you don't turn it on, the fumes of whatever you're cooking is just gonna go everywhere. It's not being sucked up by anything. It's just gonna go everywhere. It's gonna seep into your kitchen. It's gonna seep into your clothes. It's gonna seep into everything. So just turn it on. Very simple, very easy. If you have one, use it. This one is very, very, very important. And I know that this video is not about cleaning your house or how to keep bugs away and stuff, but it has a lot to do with it. Do not leave dirty pots and pans in your sink overnight. If you have a garbage disposer, use it to get rid of food as opposed to your garbage bag and leaving it in there overnight, especially food, bugs love that. And aside from attracting bugs and stuff like that, the smells, just try your best not to throw out food in your garbage can. And if you must, just don't leave it in your house for that night. Just throw it out as soon as possible and do not leave dirty plates overnight. I know that sometimes it's very annoying to clean, especially if you're the one cooking, but you don't have to clean right after you eat, but just don't let it sit in your sink overnight. You know, it's not only going to prevent your house from smelling bad, but it's also gonna prevent the bugs from coming. So just keep the food out of your kitchen if you're not eating, you know? As soon as you're done cooking, put whatever you finished cooking in a container and put it in your refrigerator or freeze it or do whatever you want and just clean your pots and pans. Do not leave stuff there. Another tip that I randomly learned one day on my own is after you're done cooking, I mostly use this for my frying pan because that's usually what I cook the stinkiest food in. Obviously, when you're cooking pasta and stuff, that's not gonna smell as bad as something that you're frying. So I get my pan straight off the skillet and there's nothing on the pan, so it's still sizzling hot. And before I put any water on it, put a couple of squirts of your dish soap on it. A couple of squirts, swirl it around, and it's kind of gonna work like a little 
diffuser. It's gonna diffuse the smell of your dish soap. And it kind of eliminates the odor of the pan. Very weird, I know, but just try it out. And then once it's cooled off a tiny bit, but not completely cooled off, like it's still hot, it's still gonna give a little bit of steam, but not like a crazy amount. Then you throw in a little bit of water and you're gonna get even more of that steam. But at this point, the steam is gonna smell like the dish soap. Even if you don't wanna wash your pan right away, I do that sometimes and I just leave it in my sink like that and the odor is completely gone. At least it's not sitting there dirty smelling bad you know i've already eliminated the odor and i'll wash it whenever i feel like doing the dishes so yeah i think those are all of my tips and yeah try to throw out your garbage can especially if it's already fooled you know don't leave it there like if if you're not if you're not going to be able to throw anything else away in there just take it out put it outside in your bigger garbage cans and just remove it from your house especially if you just finished cooking something that smells very very bad you know or meat and stuff you just you don't want that to sit there and if you don't have a garbage disposal which i know a lot of people don't have you know to throw out your food there as opposed to throwing it out in your garbage can just use the lysol like i said and spray it as often as you can just to like keep the odor there or eliminate the odor. Sometimes it's not gonna completely eliminate it, but it's gonna be a lot better than not using any kind of deodorizer for your garbage can. It's pretty much everything that I do so far to keep my house smelling good. I probably forgot to mention something, but if I did, I'll pin the comment down below. If you guys have any tips or tricks or products that you use to keep your space smelling good, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video.